Numero uno, let's talk about the problems for solar pros. Number one, obvious, it's upfront cost. You're a talented sales guy, or at least you think you are. I hear a lot, I hear a lot of uh, BS out there these days. You're a talented guy, you know that if you were given the opportunity to have good quality leads, a structure, format, training, an ecosystem that enabled you to, based off of your performance, not the money in your account right now, because maybe the world's not been too fair for you over the past few years, you have amazing sales talent, but you don't have the uh, cash to throw 10, 15 grand a month at a marketing uh, partner uh, just to get some leads that maybe you don't know are that good. Upfront cost is the number one thing here. Now, to solve this problem, there's many aspects to it, and it's going to make sense for all solar pros out there thinking, how the hell are we going to solve this when I start going into the solutions for the marketers? But that's the biggest problem here. You are a talented guy. You just don't have cash to put towards ad spend, to pay big retainers, to, I don't know, I've seen some crazy stuff out there, to, to join a $10,000 program and pay $500 up front for the appointment. The, the numbers don't really match out. The incentivization structure is not set such that, you're the only one giving this upfront. The people that are generating those leads, they might do good work, but they're not incentivized on an ongoing basis to actually get good quality leads in front of you, right? So that's the number one thing here. Uh, there's upfront, and if you are, you know, I'm not going to name any names, but there are programs out there that you know try to try to do this, right? They instead of you going to a, 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 an advertiser, um, they say, you know, join us and we'll do it. But there's still a massive upfront. We're talking five figures plus upfront for appointments, plus upfront for leads. It's not enough for me, right? And so uh, that's the number one problem that we are solving here um, with the performance program. The second piece is the quality of the leads. Let's talk about incentivization for a sec. I come from a cold, hard survival of the fittest background. I came from no money. I clawed my way bloody through hell to get to where I am. You either add value, you can sell, you can do business, you can generate leads, or you can't. That's, that's my take on reality. It might be a bit harsh for some people to hear that, but that is how I, I operate. Now, the current structure of uh, a solar pro lining themselves up with a digital marketer, with an appointment center, with a call center, someone giving them leads, it is nine times out of 10 totally uh, incorrectly incentivized such that, for example, let's take a call center. A call center, they'll say, you know, you pay us a certain amount, an onboarding fee, or maybe you pay per sit, or you pay per lead, or something that comes in. Their incentivization is to get appointments on your calendar to get as much revenue as possible from you. Very few times are they actually interested in optimizing their uh, their script, optimizing their campaigns, their ads, their leads, uh, their appointment setting, such that that customer is not only showing up because that's one big thing. The no show rate on these bloody call centers is ridiculously low. It's showing up. They've been prepped and framed such that they're going to close and install. It's very, very, very uh, uh, rare that you're going to find an uh, equally incentivized partnership like that. And that doesn't sit well with me because if a solar pro is paying up front or even if they aren't, maybe they've somehow been able to get some sort of rep share model with an appointment set, those guys, they're not incentivized to have that uh, bigger rev share model on the back end. And so they're saying, okay, cool, we'll fill your calendar, but then you have a five, 10% show rate, but you've paid for all these appointments, you paid for all these leads. Um, and so the lead quality for me is so damn important. There's so many ways to solve this and it's gonna take pulling teeth, man. It will. Um, I, I feel that a lot of call centers, appointment centers, digital marketers are gonna take some time to get used to this. The ones that have jumped on already and, and, and understand this is the future, they're gonna blow past everybody. But the old model is going to die out very, very quickly. When models and, and programs like this exist, why would you ever pay an exorbitant amount to a call center to, to a digital marketer running ads when you could just, with your performance, with your straight work ethic, getting into a, a system, being well-trained and actually performing, get these leads without uh, spending ridiculous months out front. So the lead quality for me is very, very important. And the reason I'm highlighting this is because solar pros are going to say, Okay, cool. Well, there's that, but what if appointment centers and digital marketers just start sending through shit quality appointments and leads? Um, I'm going to get into how we have solved that problem um, in a very, very interesting way in a sec, but that is a, a very big thing for me. You do find an, uh, someone to run your ads. You do find an appointment center. They ask for money up front. Okay, but how do you know that those leads are going to show, those appointments are going to sit, that the leads are uh, are framed properly, right? It's another big piece that you have to ask yourself whenever you're partnering up with someone that's asking for upfront for leads or appointments, right? 
Um, and uh, very, very often uh, these marketers, appointment setters, digital marketers are not incentivized properly in order to uh, get you results. They're simply incentivized to get leads. They're simply incentivized to get numbers on a screen to get appointments in your calendar. I've seen it dozens, countless, hundreds of times over 10 years in solar, right? So go keep going here. Lead consistency. You find a partner, a marketing, a digital marketer, an advertiser, an appointment setter, call center, and maybe they start off well, right? How many times have you guys uh, been promised a certain amount of leads? I mean, you know, the amount of people that DM me, I can't imagine all, all you guys out there, the DMs you get on Facebook. How would you do with a guaranteed 50 leads or 50 installs per month? We have an excess of leads that we wanna, or then someone tries to recruit you into their team and say, yeah, we guarantee five appointments a day, every single day. Maybe you get it at first, but then all of a sudden it dries up. That consistency is very important. The, the fundamental reason why there's consistency issues is because we're talking about a centralized unilateral channel where you're relying 100% of your volume on a singular entity, right? Um, same goes for the marketers, which I'll get into in a sec, but you're relying on that one appointment setter, that one team or that one digital marketer to maintain results. When it comes to digital marketing guys, we spent millions of personal cash on solar ads. It is very difficult to maintain consistent results. It takes a lot of skill, technical prowess, constantly refreshing creatives, copy, text, knowing all the different strategies when uh, advertising platforms change, uh, when the script gets old and you need to swap things out, when they're, you know, if an appointment setter's lead flow gets dried out, there's so many things that, that limit the ability to provide consistent results to solar pros, right? Um, and it, it's really no fault of, of the digital marketer or the appointment setter, it's just bloody difficult. And because you're relying on one singular centralized channel for that, if one thing goes wrong on their end, then your lead flow gets killed. And all of a sudden, you go from a few leads a day, a few appointments a day, to a few a week, to a few a month, to nothing. What does that do for your mentality, right? You're in this flow, and all of a sudden, they're gone. So that's, that's also something that we're really trying to solve here, um, the key being the decentralization aspect of all of Cinebo, but specifically in the performance program as well. Um, training support and systems. This is both ways for solar pros and marketers. Many people, I, you know, it, I've realized really quickly, um, people think leads are the solution to everything, right? I mean, I, I think there's a growing awareness now that that's not the case. I think that there's a growing awareness now that a hot lead is not going to be the solution to your lack of systems, to your lack of training, to your lack of script, structure, community, uh, motivation. You can give an amazing cold caller the dirtiest, coldest leads ever, and they will close more deals on a consistent basis than someone who has no systems, no training, no support, no community, the best leads in the world. It's just fact. Leads are not the solution. Now, they're an amazing jet fuel for people that have the training, the support, the, the infrastructure. They are one puzzle piece of the whole bloody picture, right? So when we talk about um, the training and the support and the systems aspect, you know, that's why Cinevo is a tech platform. This is what a lot of tech platforms in the solar space have gotten wrong over the past few years. They've presented a software solution or a digital marketer has presented a, a lead uh, a channel. And the solar pro has looked at that and they've been sold on the idea that that piece of tech that, that, that lead flow, that magic automation, that magic email sequence, that magic script, right, is the solution to their problems, but they don't get because they've been sold so hard by these people that are selling these things, that it is a, it is a conglomerate of a bunch of different puzzle pieces. Virtual Solar Club started as a training platform. I guess it still sort of is, but it has grown into, or at least our goal is for it to grow into that entire ecosystem. And when you have that entire ecosystem, when one person can come in and get resources that they would have had to search uh, you know, from five, 10 different uh, suppliers and pull it all together. When you have that, that ecosystem um, of all those resources together, it is night and day the performance that you can achieve. So Cinevo, this lead program, this aspect in terms of the leads is one thing, but there's a lot more to it. So in terms of Virtual Solar Club, obviously we have that training. Um, in terms of the system, Cinevo operates as, as a, and I'm gonna get into a bit more if you don't know what Cinevo is, if you've never seen the back end before, I'll, I'll jump into that. What it also does for marketers, if I was a digital marketer right now, and I've heard this tons from all the different marketers, hey man, we found this guy, he's an amazing closer, but he's just horrible at systems, horrible at follow-up. He doesn't even use a dialer. He has no automation. His scheduling's all out of whack. I don't even know if he's calling these leads. I know he can close, but his systems, his training is, is just horrible. 
That's a massive piece of the problem for both marketers and solar pros. Um, and again, it's it's really something on my my mind and, and and thinking how we can solve this. I think we've certainly solved the training and the community aspect at VSC, but Cinevo really brings all of that together. So I, I don't want anyone watching this to think right now that the performance program, the leads are going to be the solution to everything they have. It is all these pieces together. It is what we've worked over the past two years uh, bringing all together that is really going to make the difference, is really going to uh, hit things home. And the performance program is, I think, one of the final pieces uh, to be honest, but we are going to be layering on a ton. But in terms of the basic functionality, all those uh, fundamental pieces, I, I do believe the performance program is one of those last things that that just makes the entire infrastructure perfect. Uh, not perfect, but complete. And then on top of that, you know, as all VSC members know, we have a ton of stuff that we're that we're launching pretty soon, which is going to be cool. But uh, the performance program, that lead piece is fitting into the puzzle. It's not the entire puzzle. It's fitting into it. Um, and it really gives that that full ecosystem. So that training, uh, the support systems. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, you know, although many solar pros might think this, marketers, their job is not to train you. Their job is not to give you a script. The job is not to stay on your ass. You actually call leads. Sometimes solar pros think that and then they blame their results their lack of results on the marketer, when in actuality, the marketer did their job, but the solar pros didn't have all those other aspects, all those other puzzle pieces in play. And then when it comes to marketers, they want the same thing, right? If you're giving leads to a guy, you need to know their systems are there, um, which we'll be getting into a, a bit in a sec. But those are, on the solar pro side, those are the, the biggest problems that I generally see in terms of this whole lead game, finding marketing partners, right? Um, Cool. Let's let's take a, a bit of a left turn here and let's spend some time on the problems of marketers. And I do want all the solar pros to tune into this because this is directly relatable. You need to understand the issues that marketers are also having. I uh, I started uh, running solar ads on Facebook in 2017. We had the largest uh, solar ad spend in the entirety of Australia uh, for a very long time. Uh, I mean, up to about a year until all the billion dollar companies found out the secrets. Uh, but we we started really, really early on. And I started a, a solar marketing agency on the side uh, in 2017 as well. Um, so probably one of the first ones in Australia for sure. I don't know what the Americans were doing uh, six, seven years ago. But what I found uh, in that initial little foray into digital marketing is I, I got a ton of clients. It was crazy. Like, you know, you run ads for them. They sell. Uh, the first week or two, they're super excited because they've never had such uh, hot leads before. But what happens after the first week or two? They just start dying off. And I started losing clients. And my whole job as, as that little side gig, I was running my solar company at the time, but I'm like, huh, I wonder if other people need this service, right? So my, what I found was I got so annoyed because I knew my systems, my teams were calling leads. But then when we were distributing leads to other areas that we weren't selling in to these other solar companies, like they had no systems. They stopped calling leads after a week or two. They got little results and then they killed the contract. So I'm just constantly having to get new clients. It's just a pain in the ass. Um, so here's some problems that I certainly know that marketers today and and, uh, and problems that I had in the past have with the, especially the back end rev share model, right? Whereas you run ads, you book appointments, you uh, send those leads appointments to a solar pro, and then you get a bigger cut on the back end on installation, just like the solar pro. Here's the problems. Number one, the performance. If your reliance on a solar pro is such that they're closing a certain amount of deals, so you get a positive ROI on your ad spend, or you make it worthwhile for all your cold calling or your call center wages, so, so you, ha you have to get that positive ROI. It's very difficult because you're going in blind. Like the amount of people these days will say, you know, I'm the best solar uh, pro in the world. You'll be like, prove it. Nine times out of 10, they won't prove it. They'll be like, oh, trust me, bro. Here's what I did last month. Or maybe they even send you a spreadsheet, right? It's like, here's all the deals. Okay, but how do you know that for sure? As a marketer, as someone who's cold calling, who's running ads, digital marketing, you have to have some sort of verified way because that's uh, every marketer who's tried the RevShare model, that's it, right? You you run all these ads, you book all these appointments, the deals are closed, you don't know if they're closed or maybe they're no-showing or maybe not, the systems weren't there, and now the, the, the solar pro just stops performing, maybe they take a vacation for two weeks and you're still running ads or you're still booking appointments for them, it's totally messy. So the performance of the solar pro is so damn important when it's intrinsically linked to your the ROI that you're putting in, right? Um, and it is very, very difficult to know if they're actually going to perform without you having worked with them before. And even if you have worked with them before, there's another issue, which I'm going to bring up in a sec. Um, but you're heavily relying on them so much. The performance of the solar pro is so damn important. Secondly, most important thing is outcome transparency. How do you know that your leads are, are, are getting called? How do you know if, you know, oh, the leads are shit? How do you know that? 
Um, sometimes maybe the Solar Pro gives you access to their CRM, but then even if you do have access to their systems, are they even setting dispositions? Are they setting outcomes? Are they incentivized to do so? Or are they just getting leads and then something comes up, but they haven't paid anything up front, so they don't really care about it, right? This is a massive issue. Um, and, and even if you do have access to their CRM and dispositions are being set, wh what's, what's going to stop them from wanting to look better? And so they set more DNQs or they say one's a no-show when it actually was and they just weren't able to close it. How do you use that data, first off, to know that the Solar Pro is actually good, but secondly, to optimize your ad campaigns or optimize your script? You don't know what's wrong because you don't have full transparency on all these outcomes. Um, call times, call logs, number of calls, booked appointments, show rates, reschedules, notes. You need this data in order to optimize your campaigns. And all Solar Pros watching, I know it doesn't feel good to sometimes tell a marketer, no, I had a bad week, I didn't close anything, but this data is so damn important for the marketer to know. If it's an appointment setting call, okay, how do we work on the, your script um, uh, on, uh, when you're booking appointments for me such that they're showing up more and they're closing more? If it's a digital marketer, how do we work on our creatives, our assets, our optimization, so I'm getting a certain type of customer, so I'm getting as little sh uh, shoppers as possible, and I'm getting customers that really feel a problem and want to go solar as soon as possible, want to solve that problem. So damn important to have that data. And when marketers don't have uh, outcome transparency, when they don't have systems that objectively track, when they're relying on solar pros to tell them whether the leads are good or not, it's, it's near impossible to actually get any usable data to optimize, right? Massive, massive problem uh, in the uh, current framework of everything. What's uh, another two problems for marketers? Performance consistency. You do find a solar pro that's good. He crushes it for a month, but then he has a bad month. This is the equivalent of the previous one I said about that unilateral, that centralized channel. So the solar pro, maybe if the marketer has a great month, but then the next month they're shit, they're, that's their singular channel of leads and appointments. Now the solar pro's up, up a creek without a paddle. Same goes for marketers. It is a two-way street, solar pros. It is a two, I'm sorry to say, the ball is not all in your court. There's issues that the marketers have as well. And that's if, if they're, you know, if they're, especially like a, a um, an individual digital marketer. I, and uh, uh, I really want to get in touch with anybody watching this, this replay, or anyone that knows any individual guys out there that love digital marketing, that's their job, but they find difficulty to get solar pros connected to them. You find a solar pro, he crushes it for a month, but then again, because he's not paying up front for leads and appointments, he doesn't care about it the next month, he gets a bit tired, he wants to take a break, right? And he starts calling less. And now you're scaling up your ad campaigns and you're, or you're buying more cold leads for your call center for yourself. You're booking more appointments because you really had a good first month, but then the solar pro uh, uh, stops performing. But that's that singular channel. Or maybe even if you have two or three solar pros you work with, right? You have those a very small amount of channels in which you're giving leads and appointments to. What happens to one of them? Results drop and boom, your ROI just explodes. You throw a czar bomb on it, it's just done, game over. You have a few weeks of, of not a positive ROI and you, yeah, you're up a creek without a paddle with your ad spend or all the uh, time you spent cold calling or booking appointments for solar pros. It's a difficult situation. So that consistency is so important for cash flow, for scaling up and optimizing campaigns, uh, just for your bloody mental health so you see results are actually coming in. It's very, very important, right? And, and that can be a massive, massive issue because that's a singular channel. Uh, and if you want to you know, diversify that. You have to work with a ton of people, but then when you work with a ton of people, we go back to those other problems. How do you know if they're good or not? So you actually increase your risk because you're working with a lot of different people you're sending leads and, and appointments to, right? And any single one of them could just be talking BS and, and not perform. So uh, the last one is commission stealing. Uh, this is just blatant. It's, it's, it's horrible throughout the industry how much this is happening. As a marketer or an appointment setter, very often you don't have control of that settlement. It's the solar pro who has a direct contract with an EPC or a dealer. They get paid out the commission and then they pay you your back end cut if you have that arrangement. Now, you can obviously tell the issue here. Solar pro messed up their cash flow. They owe 10 grand over here. They get a $7,000 commission. Three grand of it is yours, four grand of it is theirs. But instead, they grab that seven grand, they pay off their debt over here, or they make a purchase over here, and they tell you, oh, sorry, you didn't come through. Or even worse and most common, they just ghosted you. But you don't have any control over that because you don't have control over the cash. Um, and let's even swap it around. Let's say the marketing guy, uh, the, the advertiser, has the, the, the settlement. Well, then the solar pro is the same situation. What if the marketer screws up their cash flow? It's not a very good system because one individual is getting the full settlement and paying out the other in a very uncontrolled way. So massive, massive problem. 
that uh, we've solved very easily. But uh, yeah, that's a, a, another massive problem for marketers, but also for solar pros. Okay. Let's keep rocking here. So we've covered the basic problems. Um, and, uh, you know, I think I've touched on definitely the, the, the main ones. Um, I, I hope uh, uh, I'm not missing any massive ones, but, uh, you know, th those are the primary issues why backend rev shares are not very commonplace right now. Um, and uh, it's obvious to see why with those massive, massive issues.